Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. I expect many of you uh, saw the brief um, vlog that I did on the back of the meeting with the Ukrainian Agrarian Forum on Monday when I met with Maria to just go through the challenges that they are facing and finding out if there is any more that we can do to help. And she talked about an extraordinarily challenging situation with loss of uh, workforce, people going to fight, nobody based on farms uh, anymore, the situation with fuel and fuel distribution, shortage of herbicides, shortage of seeds, of vet meds, not knowing what is going on in the east of the country, which is occupied by Russia now, and, and not knowing what this will mean for the spring planting season. I think they hope to get 50% of the land planted and plan on a worst case scenario to get 30% planted under a lot of pressure from their government that they must continue producing food to feed the nation and that they must not export anything. They must focus on feeding their own people first. So it poses enormous global consequences because, of course, many of the poorer nations totally reliant on Ukraine and Russia to feed them and, and who will fill that gap. And of course, the implications on what was already a very, very challenging environment here in the UK. And what does it mean for, for our farmers and growers when we see costs now um, absolutely skyrocketing and in many cases 40, 50, 60 percent up on, on last year? And we will need to act and we will need government to act. And I, I have to say I am continually absolutely staggered at the lack of focus on, on food security and the importance of it. We've set up bilateral meetings with all of the major retailers and I met with Tesco's today, so I met with their chief exec, uh, Ken Murphy, Terry Jones, our director general, and myself and Jack Watts, who's leading on a lot of uh, this work for us, met with the Tesco's team. They're under no illusions as to um, the real challenges that lie ahead and the absolute need for all of us to be working together and all of us to share a part, if you like, in, in this journey. My focus, of course, is, is always on fair returns. I see the members that I represent taking all of the, the risk at the moment, if you like, and, and certainly bearing the massive brunt of all of the cost. And that is not sustainable for the longer term at all. It is not sustainable in the current situation. When I look at the pig sector and what is playing out in front of our very eyes. So government has a, a role to play. Uh, they don't seem to realise they have a role to play, but they do have a massive one. And, and they absolutely need to come to the table prepared to engage and do whatever it takes to make sure that we continue to supply the nation with high quality British food, because my goodness, is it going to be needed? Uh, hopefully you got to join our live event uh, on Wednesday. If not, you can still catch up with it. And I'd urge you to do that because we had our head of food and farming, Phil Hambling on and Jack Watts as well. He's leading on so much of the economic analysis, but also on resource use efficiency and, and how we, we try and, and channel a path through this and, and what that might look like. So please do catch up with that. But I'll keep it short for, for now because it really is uh, all about trying um, to wrestle with the, the current crisis that we face and make sure that you have access to all the information that you need. And from my part, uh, that I do get the government to, to really, really understand the situation uh, that we're facing. So with that, I'll say goodbye and please do, as ever, take care, look after yourselves. And I really look forward to speaking to you again next week. Many thanks.